is I hope you're all well. So today I'm going to show you how to create a split monogram. There are plenty of places you can already find split monograms. There are plenty of places you can find monogram letters and then you can split them yourselves. But it's just handy to know how to do it. And it's not terribly complicated, it just takes a little bit of getting used to and really kind of knowing your tools. So I've got my monogram letter here and the first thing I need to do is I need to go and grab a shape. So I'm just going to grab a square and with my square I'm going to unlock it and I'm just going to create a rectangle. And I want my rectangle to be a size that I'm kind of happy with and it's personal preference as to where you want to place it, how wide you want it to be, um, it's just kind of however you want your monogram to look. So I've decided that I'm happy with my placement here, I've made it slightly thinner, I'm going to highlight all and I'm going to slice and this will allow me to remove the section that I don't want. So I'm going to remove that and then I can remove that area as well. So the next thing I need to do again is go and grab a shape and I'm going to grab a square and again I'm going to unlock it and I'm going to make just a nice thin line and it doesn't have to be thin, it can be as thick or as thin as you want and it's just to frame our area. So I'm going to need two of them but first of all I just want to make sure that I'm happy with the placement, the width and the length of it. So once I'm happy with it I'm then able to go in and duplicate it and I can then line them up so they are uniform and then I'm able to highlight and weld. Now unlike with slicing where you can only slice one thing at a time with welding you can weld many items all at once so I'm going to go ahead and press that weld button and this will then leave me with my area in which I can put my text I've just come into my fonts and you can use any font that you like today I'm just going to use the Art Nouveau which is a monogram block and this is a access font so I'm just going to click on that and then go in and type my word or my name, whatever it is I want to put in my monogram. And then I'm just going to reduce it slightly so that it's able to fit into my area. And I feel that the words are, or the letters, are very, very spaced out. So I've got a couple of options. I can either change the letter space, so reduce it down so it brings them closer together. The problem with this is that you end up with some that are very close and some that still have quite a big gap. So the other thing we can do is we can either go to advanced and ungroup to letters or you can simply ungroup. So I'm going to ungroup to letters and then I'm just going to move my letters closer together so that they've got a nice even spacing between them. I personally just find that this looks a lot nicer. And then once I'm happy with the whole thing I can go in and weld it and this will then cut everything as one cut so it will all cut as one piece. As always, I hope that this tutorial has been helpful to you. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all again soon.